raise as children to be independent and we grow up and we and we 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 still respect our dad but we start to see our dad eye to eye hmm. and then and then as you you'll you'll find this out soon you're you're going to pass your dad you're you're going to tell your dad hmm. go sit down and take a nap you know huh. and and you and you swap but we don't do that in a christian life in a christian life you are a seven-year-old child and you should relish in that. You should be able to look back and go, how great to be a seven-year-old child that goes, I'm hungry. Hmm. And how great, you know, and, and that we're not, we're not trying to get this way with God. <laughs> we're trying, we have to stay this way. It, it's, it's very different, but, uh, but there's great joy and peace in that. And, and uh, you know, relish being a, a seven-year-old child. Wouldn't we all like to be kids again to, to it in certain ways? Hmm. You know, and, and, and just sit at God's feet and go, I, you got this, God. I don't have to worry about all these things, mm. just like a seven-year-old doesn't worry. Which is what Jesus says, right? When he says, you, we have to come to come to him like a child. Like a child. And yes. yeah, there's something freeing. But I think for men, that's, that, that's kind of a hard concept because for men, we want to be self-made and, and we want to... We want to grab it, grab the bull by the horns, but the Christian life in some sense is like that, but in a whole different sense is not at all like that. Exactly. And I think that's where Joseph Smith went off. He, he, he missed it. He, he wanted to, he, he, he was trying to be good like God, right? We're supposed to be, be like Jesus, but, but still be a child of God. And that's a real, that's a really interesting because in, in an earthly world, Try to be like our dads, and 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 we if we but we we never quite reach that you know I'm above you, dad. But we are we we get close to it, and I think we try to do that with God sometimes too. And it's like no, no, that's not the point. I yep. don't know. That no. was my, my daily thought. Yeah, that's good. One of the guys <laughs> I mentor, he he describes the Christian life by the word submission. You know, he says mm -hmm. it's all about submitting. Which when you, you think know? about Mormonism, and we both have a lot of Mormon friends, but when you think about Mormonism, it, it, that mentality isn't at the root of, at the base of Mormonism like it is at Christianity, because at the base of Mormonism, it's, I'm going to, I can be a God someday. Joseph Smith is a God of his own planet. I'm going to be a God. If I'm good enough, I'm going to be a God of my own planet. So it is, it's all, it's all me centered. Whereas the Christian faith, the Orthodox biblical faith is, it's about, it's about God and he'll, he's, you know, whenever I read Revelation, he's always at the center of the picture of heaven. There's never going to be a time when I'm, when I've overcome that and I've taken his place, like you say, like, uh, like I'm helping my dad. He, he's never going to need our help. We're always going to be, we're always going to live our lives in submission to him and to, and to his will. God's will, I read it in a commentary the other day, the God's will is the greatest force on earth. And, uh, and if you think about it, sin is about putting our will ahead of God's will. And so as followers of Jesus, it really is about submitting to him, that, that word being submitted to him and letting his kingdom come, letting his will be done on earth as it is in heaven.